be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be God's kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desire is known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. of our sins, and give us the liberty of that abundant life which you have made known to us in your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. reading is a reading from Isaiah. Have you not known? Have you not heard? Has it not been told to you from the beginning? Have you not understood from the foundations of earth? It is he who sits above the circle of the earth, and its inhabitants are like grasshoppers. Who stretches out the heavens like a curtain, and spreads them like a tent to live in? Who brings princes to God and makes the rulers of the earth as nothing? Scarcely are they planted, scarcely sown, scarcely has their stem taken root in the earth. When he blows upon them and they wither, and the tempest carries them off like stubble, to whom then will you compare me? Or who is my equal, says the Holy One? Lift up your eyes on high and see, who created these? He who brings out their host and numbers them, calling them all by name. Because he is great in strength, mighty in power, not one is missing. Why do you say, O Jacob, and speak, O Israel? My way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not think or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint and strengthens the powerless. 
Even youths will faint and be weary, and the young will fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We're going to do the um, psalm by whole verse. Hallelujah. How good it is to sing praises to our God. How pleasant it is to honor him with praise. The Lord rebuilds Jerusalem. He gathers the exiles of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He counts the number of the stars and calls them all by their names. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. There is no limit to his wisdom. The Lord lifts up the lowly, but casts the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. Make music to our God upon the harp. He covers the heavens with clouds and prepares rain for the earth. He makes grass to grow upon the mountains and green plants to serve mankind. He provides food for flocks and herds and for the young ravens when they cry. He is not impressed by the might of a horse. He has no pleasure in the strength of a man. But the Lord has pleasure in those who fear him and those who await his gracious favor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Heart. <laughs> this is a reading from 1 Corinthians. If I proclaim the gospel, this gives me no ground for boasting. For an obligation is laid upon me, and woe to me if I do not proclaim the gospel. For if I do this of my own will, I have a reward. But if not of my own will, I am entrusted with a commission. What then is my reward? Just this, that in my proclaiming, proclamation, excuse me, I may make the gospel free of charge so as to not make full use of my rights in the gospel. For though I am free with respect to all, I have made myself a slave to all, so that I might win more of them. To the Jews I became as a Jew, in order to win the Jews. To those under the law I became as one under the law, though I myself am not under the law, so that I might win those under the law. To those outside the law I became as one outside the law, though I am not free from God's law, but am under Christ's law, so that I might win those outside the law. To the weak I became weak, so that I might win the weak. I have become all things to all people, that I might by all means save some. I do it all for the sake of the gospel, so that I may share its blessings. The word of the Lord.
and also with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory, Glory to you, Lord Christ. When Jesus and his disciples left the synagogue, they entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever, and they told him about her at once. He came and took her by the hand and lifted her up. Then the fever left her, and she began to serve him. That evening at sundown, they brought to him all who were sick or possessed with demons, and the whole city was gathered around the door and cured many who were sick with various diseases and cast out many demons. And he would not permit the demons to speak because they knew him. In the morning, while it was still very dark, he got up and went out to a deserted place. And there he prayed. Simon and his companions hunted for him. When they found him, they said to him, Everyone is searching for you. He answered, Let us go on to the neighboring towns, so that I may proclaim the message there also. For that is what I came out to do. And he went throughout Galilee, proclaiming the message in their synagogues and casting out demons. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. You may be seated. One of the great joys that has come out of the unpleasantness of the schism was the restoration of Camp St. Christopher to the Diocese of South Carolina. And last year, our first time as stewards of that property in some years, we have a full camp session. It's my joy and delight to introduce you today, Renzi Ricketts, the summer camp director at Camp St. Christopher, who is going to bring our homily for us this morning. Renzi, welcome to Good Show. My name is Renzi Ricketts. Uh, I currently serve as the summer camp director at St. Christopher Camping Conference Center. Y'all, I'm honored to be here with you this morning. Before my time here in South Carolina, I spent time serving in various leadership roles over the past eight years at two other Episcopal camping retreat centers, specifically Camp Mitchell in Arkansas and Cathedral Ridge in Colorado. So if you're ever traveling to those states, let me know. You've got some Episcopal pals in those areas. <laughs> Uh, now that you know how much of a camp person I really am, uh, you might guess that sitting at a desk all day is very challenging for me. Uh, I like to be running around and getting things done. Uh, so it's really great to be here and be moving around with you all this morning in this ministry. Um, I know it's still early, so I won't ask you to stand to answer these questions, um, because I, we all know we have several more Sunday slots uh, to complete this morning. But I invite you to raise your hand if you've ever visited St. Christopher. Excellent. Thank you for sharing. Um, I now invite you to raise your hand if you've ever felt busy in your life. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah. Take a look around. Uh, we live busy, wonderful lives. And Jesus gives us an excellent example right here in this passage. Jesus had much to do after healing Simon's mother-in-law. And before he knew it, people were bringing others. Uh, and soon the whole city was showing up at the door, asking and seeking his wholeness through healing. It was what Jesus did the next morning that really spoke to me and my busy life. In the morning, while it was still very dark, he got up and he went out to a deserted place and there he prayed. He got up early and prayed. He did not let the busyness of his life keep him from communing with his father. This seems so simple, yet for many of us, uh, this is still something that we strive to incorporate into. Just like Simon's mother-in-law, he will take each of us by the hand and lift us up. Spending quality time with God allows us to pray, reflect, and renew our energy. I just returned from an Episcopal Camping Conference Center conference, um, and while it was very busy, it was a place where hundreds of Episcopal leaders and camp professionals gathered to do exactly that, to pray, to reflect, and renew. Sometimes you not only need the people around you to support you, but you also need a sacred space. St. Christopher does that for thousands of students, guests, and campers each year. A thin space where his presence brings wholeness to our lives. 
I'd like to share a little bit more with you about our mission at St. Christopher, mostly because I'm passionate about the ways that our team lives into this mission every day, but also because it aligns so well with the message of seeking wholeness this morning. So there's four main parts of our mission, um, with the first one being rest. The culture we live in prioritizes productivity, business, and accomplishment. None of these are bad in and of themselves, but centering those values in our lives can crowd out with the need we all have for deep rest. <clears throat> the book of Genesis teaches that God built that need for rest, also called Sabbath, into the fabric of creation. Rest for the land, rest for animals, rest for people. Seen in this way, rest is not laziness or wasted time, but rather it is essential. It is through rest that we remember who we truly are, beings lovingly created by God to live in a right relationship with God, with one another, and with the land. Restoration. Rest flows into restoration, which is the process of returning to some former condition. Restoration is about returning our souls, returning our bodies, and finding deep connections with God, nature, and one another. Renewal. Our hope is that all the guests leave St. Christopher renewed and strengthened for their continuing work in ministry and in the world. Whether you have calm for Sabbath rest that fortifies you, or for a gathering of friends and family that energizes you, or a retreat that has inspired you, our prayer is that this renewed sense of God's presence and action will stay with you as you return into your daily life. Encounter. We believe that St. Christopher is what the Celtic Christian tradition calls a thin place. That is a place where the presence of God is easily sensed. We pray that all of our guests will encounter God's presence and love in this special place, whether that is through nature, worship, fellowship, prayer, silly camp games, whatever it may be. Although I have only been a part of this Episcopal diocese and community for a little over a year, I have witnessed the collective resilience and heartache that has transformed the very communities that you all are a part of. So friends, I invite you and welcome you to, or back, to St. Christopher, your Episcopal Camping Conference Center, where all are welcome. I pray that the center becomes an enriching part of every generation of your families and households, the God's creation at St. Christopher is a part of grounding you in your own faith and community. And it's conversations like this morning that I walked in um, just before this service that unites our communities and provides safe spaces for people of all ages. Um, so I'll be around uh, to talk and answer any more specific questions that you might have. But please come to St. Christopher and find a quiet and restful place, just like Jesus did, to recharge and energize your spiritual battery. Amen. Thank you, Renzi. Let us now stand and affirm our faith in the words of the Nice We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, the God did not made, all the one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and we look for the resurrection of the dead, 
I have life for the world to come. Amen. The prayers for people can be found in your book. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, how pleasant it is to honor God with praise. Let us pray to the Lord, saying, Great are you, O Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. O God, your Son Jesus came into the world to proclaim your message. Give your church, the body of Christ, that same passion to be all things to all people, that we may show forth your salvation. We pray for Justin, Archbishop of Canterbury, Michael, our presiding bishop, Ruth, our bishop, and now our priest. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, we pray for the Anglican Church of South America. And in the diocesan cycle of prayer, we pray for the Church of Epiphany, Somerville, Steve Jackson, Senior Warden. Great are you, O Lord. Hallelujah. O God, you cast the wicked to the ground and lift up the lowly. Protect and defend those living under oppressive rulers and those living under the oppression of hunger, poverty, and war. We pray for our President Joseph and all world leaders. We pray for peace, especially in Gaza and Ukraine. Great are you, O Lord. Hallelujah. O God, you prepare rain for the earth and make grass to grow on the plains and hills. Provide food enough to support all the creatures that inhabit the earth. Please offer your prayers of thanksgiving. The family and friends, and most especially the family of your children. Great are you, O Lord. Hallelujah. O God, there is no limit to your wisdom. Your understanding is unsearchable. Bless all teachers and students. Sustain, sustain our school systems and universities. Bless your people with knowledge. <clears throat> Great are you, O Lord. Hallelujah. O God, you give power to the faint and strengthen the powerless. In the name of Jesus, we ask that you heal those with diseases and set free those in bondage. Heal the brokenhearted and care for the wounded. Today we pray especially for Mary Baldison, Susie Brownlee, Pat Crane, the most Reverend Michael McCurry, the Reverend Chris Tuff, Adrian Quist, Kathleen Mulroy, Eileen Price, Tricia Riley, Audrey Bruce, Isaac Shuler, Dave Ussery, the Reverend Lynn, Lynn Williams, and the Right Reverend Ruth Wooklet Stanley, and all who are serving as caregivers for loved ones. Please offer your petitions for the sick and suffering. <laughs> Great are you, O Lord. Hallelujah. O God, you are everlasting, the creator of the ends of the earth. We entrust to your tireless care those who have died. Please offer your petition for the departed. Great are you, O Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, hear the prayers of your people, and what we have asked faithfully grant that we may obtain effectually for the glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we want to repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may glide in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Good morning. Good morning. Ms. Rinzi, I mentioned she will be at the back table here to answer questions and talk about camp if you would like to stay a little after today. And I remind you, we're right in the middle of registration for the summer camp. And as last year, Church of the Good Shepherd will pay one half scholarship to any children or grandchildren from the parish. Now, can't do cousins and nieces and nephews, but children and grandchildren, we will be delighted to do that. So let me know, and I will help out with that as well. Um, we have our annual meeting next week during the uh, Christian Education Hour at 9 o'clock, so come and be present for that, for the election of officers and presentations on all sorts of things common to our life. And uh, then Ash Wednesday is upon us. There will be uh, two Holy Eucharists with imposition of ashes, one at noon, one at 6 in the evening with the choir. Uh, and uh, finally, during Lent, we will begin a meditation during the um, Adult Christian Education Hour on the 14 Stations of the Cross. Unlike many of our other um, programs, you don't have to read a book in advance, you don't have to study anything, you don't have to prepare, just come and listen and pray and use this time of Lent as a time of refreshment and uh, preparing for uh, our Lord's resurrection and Easter. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us, an offering and sacrifice to God.
points this morning is offered for the ministry of the Dorchester Children's Advocacy Center and for all the needs and concerns that you bring in your hearts to this altar. Pray, sisters and brothers, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable unto God the Father Almighty. May the Lord receive the sacrifice at our hands to the praise and glory of God's name, to our benefit and that of all God's holy church. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you, lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Oh, I must give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give Him thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere to thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, because in the mystery of the Word made flesh, you have caused a new light to shine in our hearts, to give knowledge of your glory in the face of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels, and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, who forever singing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. spoken through the prophets, and above all, in the word made flesh, Jesus, your Son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, according to his command, our Father, we remember his death. We proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory, and we offer our 
our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray, you gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the covenant. Unite us to your Son in his sacrifice, that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection under your Christ, and bring us to that heavenly country, where with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Blessed Christopher, and all of your saints, we may enter the everlasting heritage <coughs> of your sons and daughters. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation. By him, and with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> and now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Hallelujah. Body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, we give an everlasting wine. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, we give an everlasting wine. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, we give an everlasting wine.
Thanks to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.